Michael, good evening to you. Yeah, the airport director here telling me that at the time the pilot took off yesterday morning, conditions were actually clear, but the forecast in Columbia painting a very different picture. The National Weather Service saying at that time visibility was less than a quarter mile. And ultimately that crash would happen at 1030 yesterday morning. Now we are told that the pilot, the 62 year old was an avid flyer. He loved adventure. He was the president of ETT Environmental in Greer. And in 2007, he was the first Iranian born pilot to fly around the world. His business partner said there was still one trip that he always wanted to make. That there was one continent that he hadn't been to yet, and that was Antarctica. And uh, and uh, he he kind of like I've still got to go to Ant Antarctica because I haven't been to all the continents in my plane. And I'm like I don't know that you could take a private plane to to, yeah. to Antarctica, I'm, and it's a long way, you know. <laughs> And he flew across the world in that small engine plane that he used yesterday. His business partner there telling me that he was on his way to Columbia to pick up lab samples from that area. And from an investigation standpoint, the NTSB has taken over. We have reached out for an update on this case. We are working to learn more about that. For now, in Greenville, Taggart Houck, WIFF News 4.